The 12 years that I've spent in this wheelchair have taught me some powerful life lessons and I thought that maybe I should share some of those life lessons with you all. I have learned that accidents can happen, accidents will happen, but those accidents which are so powerful and so strong that they change your DNA, the accidents which maybe somehow deform your body but they transform your soul are not just accidents. They are blessings in disguise because they transform you into the best version of you. So embrace those accidents. I tried to hate the incident. I tried to forget it, but I couldn't because how can you hate something which transformed you into a better version of you, right? So instead of hating it, I embraced it. In these 12 years, I've learned that life is so unpredictable. Life is full of unwanted, unexpected series of events. How in blink of an eye, everything changed. How in blink of an eye, my life changed. And how in blink of an eye, I changed. I learned that with all these changes, you become a better person every single day. What life did to me does not define me, but what I became in return, regardless of all the hurt and turmoils and adversity, defines me who I am. And today, with a heart full of contentment, I'm blessed to be where I am today. In the last 12 years, I've learned that this wheelchair has somehow given me an insight I can read people and there are three types of people that I've met so far. Number one, people, when they see you facing adversity or trauma in life, these people leave. They don't claim to be yours. They don't even claim to be your support system. They just walk away. I respect them. I respect them for being truthful. Number two, I call these people opportunists, people who try to tag along with you. These people are so weak that they just try to remain in your shadow because they know your strength. These people in front of the world claim that they are yours, but deep inside they all know they are not your people. Pray for these people and liberate yourself by setting them free because these people are toxic. They will always try to come back in your life to get their share from your success. I'll repeat, liberate yourself by setting them free. And when you do so, remember, when wrong people leave, right things start to happen. And then there is this third category that I have seen. People who don't claim that they are your people. People who don't even need to share the limelight that you have. You will always find these people standing next to you, always there with you, for you, without saying a single word. People whose hearts are full of unconditional love for you. These are your people. These are the people that you should truly value in your life. I'm blessed to have these beautiful unsung heroes in my life who have never left me. In these last 12 years, I have learned that pain is not your weakness. Pain is your strength because with the pain comes the healing. Healing does not come to you. It comes from you. It comes through you. So today, if you are in pain, Congratulations, because you are on the journey of becoming an empath, a person who can feel the pain for others, a person who can heal the world. You can become that person. It all starts from this one tiny step of accepting the pain and embracing it. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to be sad because it all makes you a human. 
so embrace the pain. We live in a world where you will be questioned for being nice. We live in a world where you will be questioned for being kind, but they will never judge you or question you for being cruel. Don't let these people teach you to hate. Be kind anyway. Work on yourself and try to be a better person every single day. These 12 years couldn't tell me that how my story will end. I don't know how my story will end. Maybe some stories just never end. But nowhere in my text you will ever read that I gave up.